One of the good arguments for using reverse planning is the performance of the batch job. Whereas the MRP planning is doing some quite complex stuff, the reverse planning is just looking at the inventory levels and making a simple profile. So let's take an example here and I'll just start a clock while I'm running it. I'm starting it now just to see how long time it takes. And of course, I'm not cheating on this video. So it calculates all the low levels of code, but it's calculating in an algorithm which is rather complex. And this is also why it's suggesting many different lines. So it's a, it's a very cool calculation, a very complex calculation. So let's just see when it is done on all the levels here. Should be very soon, I would expect. Here we are. So it's a 27 seconds to do that. And if I'm running the reverse planning on the same parameters in here, calculating on finding critical items, just identifying all the items that are critical with the same parameters in here. And I will clock this one as well, doing it here. And it's done after three seconds uh, in this scenario. So it's, uh, it's approximately 10 times as fast when we do this uh, calculation in reverse planning. So if you have an MRP planning that runs in uh, 10, 12, 15 hours that we have seen for some of our customers, this is a nice way to do faster planning.